Alright, I'm debunking all this sh so you don't have to. Basically, we're gonna look at a fog news video, uh, claiming that toaster's, uh, PDF file. I first met Toaster through a rec center when he first started to blow up after the Travel VR video. We quickly got along due to us having similar interests and personalities. This would not be the case later on. We would go on to become close friends and would chat near daily over the time of our friendship. But after a month or so of being friends, he would start to become more open and personal with me. This is when horrible and degenerative behavior started to shine through. He would start to treat me horribly and export me for his own personal gain, and this would go on for months without any outside help. Toaster would talk to me and started to make advances on me when I was 13, him being 16. Toaster would also make degenerative remarks on other topics of this and more. He was extremely mentally unstable and would refuse to help aggressively if I give test offered it to him. He suffered from a variety of mental issues, which remain private for his privacy. I would urge you to not make assumptions on this topic as I'd be very immoral to do so, and I'll let you read this relationship part. Okay. Although there is no recording, Toaster said in a BC that he views the LGBTQA plus community as brand- There's no recording. So that's not proven that it happened. Been watched by the media, and that the role will be better if they all die. If that was me, I've had experiences with these people kind of in the past. I always record, I always have something in the background, like uh, metal or just like OBS replay buffer. I always have that in the background for like funny shit that happens or shit that happens like this. Always. He then went to specifically that my sister especially deserves to die. He also also went a step further by saying that she should delete herself. Toaster is heavily racist. The screenshots provided speak for themselves and deserve to be brought to light. After I met Toaster, we became pretty close friends and such we became so close that we started a romantic relationship with each other. Mm. However, this relationship was for the most part toxic and abusive. Toaster would completely describe my feelings throughout the entire relationship, and I would be explaining some of the ways Toaster would exploit me. Okay, so basically, using his mental health for his own gain, saying that he might commit suicide if he doesn't follow with what... If the person, the victim, wouldn't follow in with what he, Toaster said. Um, basically, the victim is saying that they have no say in this relationship because of the things that Toaster would commit if they didn't listen to them um sometimes he would ask me to carve his name onto my skin what the fuck so if you're realizing that first of all you would have completely gave up on the relationship completely just started ghosting toaster i don't think toaster would continue well now i don't think the victim would continue a relationship with someone who is doing this shit because i know Toaster, for me knowing him, I don't think he has a mental illness. I know I don't really talk to that man a, a ton. We're not the best friends, but overall, I have no clue about. That. Toaster has pictures of me, and would request them daily, and would do something to the. Okay, you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop that. But basically, like Toaster would gaslight me all the time in the dark as much. Treating me more like a blank toy than a real person. This completely broke me as an individual and gave me severe trust issues. They're saying it's grooming. And then they have highlighted this is not pedophilia. But what happened here today and what Toaster did to this person is absolutely horrendous. And as he said, should never be forgiven. At this point, these aren't even allegations. These are straight up like, like it's right here and this is what he did. So please feel free to make- No. No. Okay, Foglu, listen. You're a cool guy, okay? I hope that we're friends. We know each other. The thing is, I just think they're more allegations. They're not proven innocent. I feel like if I could go back and look at the messages that he sent, like stuff in the ego section versus some stuff in the grooming section, they could be at the same date. Just the embed would be different. I feel like, I don't know, it's it's just something else. Everyone is guilty until proven innocent. Also, going back to ego, um, one thing that does show his ego, he does have an ego, everyone knows that. Um, here are these two pictures that I've had for a long time. It's just, it's just funny, it's funny. Um, nothing against 
you know, toaster. Everyone is guilty until proven innocent. Me personally, I think that these are false allegations made by people um, that are in the FUFA VR fan base. But you never know. He could be, and I'm just sitting here looking like a fucking moron. Alright, thank you so much for listening to my rant. Uh, have a good rest of your day. Good night.